but make no mistake about it, despite the <laughs> standing, they still have a team. Future Ford cars could drive itself to an impound yard if you miss payments. Dang. Recently, you know, Columbus had a big win over Connor McDavid and the Oilers, so the Penguins need not to look past this team, despite its record. Yeah, I think they... What's up, Yens guys? Time for another video. I've been meaning to talk about this one, this story I've seen on the TV news. Actually, it was a thing on the news weeks ago, and the latest development, they caught the guy. Yeah, the guy, I think his street name, look back in the article, was street, na street name was Takeoff. Yeah, shoots people in a leg because uh, they wouldn't give him no nookie and ran. So I guess he... I don't know what the chick was, uh, think was going on, uh, meeting them at a Red Roof Inn to start with, I don't know, read the article, but, uh, not funny that they got shot, but, anyway, this is a, uh, example, a model for how entitled this individual was, putting aside, you know, wondering what she was doing, uh, going over there with him at the hotel, so anyway, uh, the dude gets mad at this chick because she wouldn't uh, give him any nookie, uh, wouldn't uh, do no sexual favor or, or uh, sexual act or whatever did he demanded that she do. So he got mad and shot her in a leg and ran. So he said his street name was Takeoff or something like that, if I'm not correct. So he shot her and just took off. Yeah, hiding, yeah, that's really gangster, shoot a woman in the leg, be, or a woman or a girl in the leg, because you're mad, because they won't give you something you think you're entitled to, and that's really gangster. Do it, and do that, and run like a scared chicken, and be in hiding. Yeah, yep, yeah, that's a model for how uh, entitled these people, just when you think you heard it all, but there's a lot of similar incidents like that you'll probably find in articles on your local news i don't know but um yeah yeah anyway yeah that dude was uh really delusional thinking he was that entitled like he had a right to shoot somebody in the leg shoot anybody because uh he he uh couldn't get any Oh, and you don't see uh, the gun control advocates and that dude. Of course, you know it's a stolen gun. You don't see the gun control advocates, the people that are, I want to abolish and dismantle the NRA. You don't see the, they're always talking about conservatives, the gun control people. Always blame it on white conservatives. I'm not saying anybody that legitimately owns a gun that's black. There's a lot of good people that are black, so I'm not saying anything because it's black, of course not. I'm just talking about the gun control people. Oh, you don't see those gun control people talking about shit like this. Well, yeah, and there's, uh, yes, I know, there's uh, somewhere in some articles, there's white guys doing shit like that. I've seen it in the past. I vaguely remember some. I could probably dig up a lot, so it's of any consolation to anybody but anybody i don't care what color you are shoot somebody just because uh you can't get any um i know i may have been uh watching too many uh henry rollins comedies but i think instead of doing sh doing really shit like that that's the height of selfishness right things that'll get you thrown in jail for good reason uh, I might have been looking at uh, too many Henry Rollins comedy, but rather than do shit like that to get you put in jail, it ain't it easier to just... The guy could have saved himself a, a criminal record, saved himself from jail, you know what I mean? I guess he never thought of that, but I guess he was too entitled to do that. I don't want to sound like some feminist, but I'm like the feminists that think all white males are 
out to do shit like that or out to get him. Uh, I'm not like that or I don't advocate that, but you, you, but you say to some of these uh, feminists, yeah, there are really people like that. They're not all white and they're not all black. But, yeah, but anyway, um, yeah, I've seen a couple of these. Yeah, one channel was uh, Canadian. They were kind of on the conservative political side. Interview and I um this is just vague. I've seen things like it, but interviewing some uh, feminist chick on some campus somewhere about what the problem of the world is, and she says with this smirk on her face, "White men." Oh, and I'm not yeah. Like I said in this thing, I'm not saying just because somebody's black. Yeah, there's white guys that do shit like this that I'm talking about. But my thing is, you guys seen them too. Whether the Canadian uh, political channels or the channels uh, that I've been looking at that are, that are American. Uh, there's uh, that one other guy, what the hell is his name? There was Paul Joseph Watson and there was... That other guy, if you laugh, you lose. Um, uh, Zeducation, he showed, yeah, that dude, he showed clips like that. Yeah. Not saying anybody just because they're black or like that. Yeah, like I'll say once again, there are white dudes that do it too. I, I did videos about uh, Kevin McSwiggan as an example of a white dude. But uh, he did that in a road rage and it happened to be an off-duty cop and his son. But he had a history way before he did himself in. I did a video on him threatening. He used to be a lifeguard and he was threatening females. And he what he was doing and making passes at them and touching them inappropriately. And then threatening to kill them and put them in a 55-gallon drum and throw them in the bottom of a, a river or some crap. Then fast forward later in life, he gets he does himself in. Which... Uh, a lot of women out there and other people are probably relieved there. It was sad that the person that he killed, but the rest of his, he's gone away for the rest of his life now too. But anyway, yeah, that's a kind of an example of a white guy who had a history of sexually, being sexually entitled, you know, so I can, you can show you a white guy and both black and white. You can, one of each, you know, you say you want to, find three or four of each. I mean, you know, I mean, I'm not saying because of their color, but, but yeah, you're just, it's, yeah, you can't say enough. You can't believe the arrogance, the entitlement, and you're not, and again, you're not in, on the side of them wacky, uh, fanatical feminists, but just like the feminists and then the gun control, uh, act of a say only blame one kind of person because they have a bias against only one kind of person, you know what I mean? And uh, they won't acknowledge that somebody on that other side does the same shit. You know what I mean? <laughs>